Hey fellas, Dan Broco from Lead Faucet Tactical out here with Recoil TV filming another episode of Recoil Training Tune-Ups. Today we're going to talk about shooting and moving. First off, people think, oh, i got to be able to shoot and move super fast because I don't want to be stationary target. That's not the case. Just remember, you can only move as fast as you can accurately engage targets. That's the key. Apply it to CQB or room clearing. One, if we move too fast, we can't process the room. And if we can't hit what we're shooting at, we should, probably shouldn't be in that, in that line of work or that stack going to that house. On that, it's not that hard. Simply bend at the waist a little bit more. Your knees are gonna act as shock absorbers and shorten up your stride. Think heel outside foot to toe, heel outside foot to toe. Don't try to time your shots. Shoot when the shot presents itself. Not every left or right foot. Shoot when the shot presents itself. Heel outside foot to toe. Knees as shock, knees as shock absorbers. Slow it down a little bit. All right, so first off, sometimes you gotta improvise. We came out here and JJ, our dog, ate up all of our cones. So we have a rock, four of them, seven to 12 meters, six meters apart, creating our box. We're shooting steel today. Also have a paper version of this, using an IPSIC or an IDPA, um, and use the eight inch circle inside of it. On steel or paper, it doesn't matter. We're gonna start on our strong side, move lateral, three shots, close three shots, move our support side lateral, hustle up to our cone, do a 360 turnaround, three shots closing, and then three shots lateral on our strong side. All for time. On steel, you gotta get your three hits. On paper, anyone outside, your eight inch circle, or eight inch square, whatever you're using, that's one second added to your time. If I was about to run our CQB box drill, I will tell you, we are going to break the 180 degree rule on our flat range. That's reality. Life's not an IPSC match. Life is dealing with a 360 degree threat environment. Um, and that's just something you gotta train to. So remember, never flag another individual on a range, good position sole when we're breaking the 180 degree rule. Now let's get this drill started. Shoot his ray! <laughs> 